I don't really know how it's going to have to be done or how this kind of interview or a talk about this would be, you know, inst instigated or something. Um, the Trump administration in setting up peace between Russia and Ukraine, setting up its overhaul of a lot of government agencies, there's going to have to be a long talk, maybe on Vivek's channel he does this. Him and uh, he, he like has a sit down with Gabbard or something. Because they're going to have to discuss the nature of the Ukraine junta. A big part of the deal with MAGA is if you want to keep the boys with you, don't insult our intelligence. We, we know. We're on Telegram. We play video games. So we talk to people all over the planet all the time. We've seen the war footage, and especially a lot of people are quite aware of the whole Bush family relationship with various elements of uh, the Axis government, how uh, the United States government recruited a lot of high-level people from the Axis, not just to make rockets, but eventually to be a part of the what we call the intelligence community. Um, don't insult our intelligence. We know Vinman and the Vinman brothers seem to have some weird kind of it, like it, they, they seem to be kind of a part of that weird arrangement with the Ukrainian government in exile. So, you also have then years of reports about how the Ukrainian junta was uh, politically associated with the followers of Stepan Bandera, Axis government uh, leader during World War II, and that they would regularly, whether Azov Battalion supposedly was in existence or not, would have regular torchlight marches in the streets in his honor and uh, other people of that period of time. Now, that, that's what they could be about. It then becomes, well, I'm, should I be comfortable paying for that? Should I be comfortable supporting that? At some point, the frankness of confronting one's country's history and the ugly parts of the past the investigations by FBI agent John Loftus alone this is something well known to people who would be uh, MAGA like people like not just the dark right like me and people I know but I mean people who are relatively kind of normal right wing people nowadays know that the Bush family was a a part of the founding of the uh, Pentagon and they, them and the Dulles brothers and there's all this other assortment of people. But then beyond that, you end up having the whole issue of uh, these care, you know, not just like how nobody, nobody knows who Klaus Barbie is as a historical figure. Well, that's going to have to be discussed. To have you, the Ukrainian-Russian peace, you have to start discussing these Ukrainians that we recruited and what, how this looks like this is some kind of payback, like they're getting their country back. And a lot of the stuff that they were up to, shelling the eastern regions, chasing people out of the west, all this has to get confronted because everyone knows it happened. And this was confirmed by our own government and most governments in Europe. So a lot of this is going to have to come up. It's just how. And um, it's going to also mean the fundamental survival of the Trump administration and kind of the uh, solidarity and morale and within MAGA. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how this is handled. But this is going to be a lot of dirty laundry. 
like real like bloody sheets kind of dirty laundry um yeah poo 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 pants and and bloody sheets all right later